When a honeybee is collecting pollen, it actually packs them together in a, a ball called a pollen pellet, and it uses uh, a fluid called nectar, which it feeds on from the plant, uh, to actually adhere the pollens together and pack them into this pellet. We've been interested in adhesion of particles for a long time, and especially how liquids can help bind particles together, uh, where we've been looking at ways to adhere really, really tiny microscopic particles to surfaces. One of the reasons we're interested in looking at nature-supplied examples of adhesion is that they're highly optimized, in many cases, through evolution. And in particular, in the case of pollen particles, they are optimized to allow themselves to be adhered and detached in, in unique situations. The watery fluid is probably from nectar in the flower. It's doing all the adhesive work. The other fluid is an oily substance, and it provides a thin layer of oil that prevents water from drying out, and it prevents water from coming in. And we found that the adhesive functions just as well at large scales that we're used to dealing with as it did at small scales. So that speaks to potential applications as a free-flowing, yet still adhesive type substance.